said he had a knack for refuse. He's the hungry ferret. Hey everybody, so today is part two of the stasher bags. If you want to see part one, just look at the suggested video up ahead. We last left off testing the seal. As you can see, the bag is watertight. In today's video, we're going to test sous vide. So let's start cooking. I have here some frozen scallops. You could roughly fit about three 20 dirties. With this bag, you can't squeeze out the air by using water displacement or by pressing down on the bag. There are just going to be gaps in between. With these 26 dirty shrimps, you're going to have the same problem. So there's about five shrimps in this bag. Now the solution is kind of simple. What a lot of people do is they cook the seafood in the oil or in the marinade. So for example, in the scallops, I placed it in olive oil. Now you don't have to fill the bag entirely with olive oil. You just have to fill it a little bit enough where when we squeeze the bag, the olive oil level is going to rise and it'll just cover everything. After sous vide these for a half an hour, all you need is a quick sear on each side. And it came out tender and beautiful. Compared to a plastic bag, it is pretty much the same. So next one I'm going to try is a hamburger. The hamburger is about 3.5 inches and 5.3 ounces. The hamburger easily fits in bag with plenty of space. It's not large enough to handle two. So you're definitely going to have to have a bag per patty. Since it's ground beef, it's a little more fragile, so you gotta be careful about pushing now. If you're not too comfortable, you could use the water displacement method to do it. It doesn't come out super tight, but it's pretty close. And for reference, I have two burgers and a one gallon Ziploc bag. Also notice it's starting something a little bit different. If you have these stasher bags in the refrigerator, you may have to warm them up a little bit, and that takes about five minutes. So for long cook times, it doesn't really matter too much. For short ones, of course, it's going to affect you a little bit. But other than that, the cook times are pretty much the same. I just sous vide these for 15 minutes, pulled them out, a quick sear on each side, and it came out exactly medium rare, the way I like it. The burger was really juicy, and in this particular case, there was really no difference. Next, I tried boneless chicken thighs. For larger pieces of meat, I found it's easier if you compress it and then spread it out inside the bag. So the stasher bag is able to hold two pieces of boneless chicken thigh. And since this meat is not really fragile, you could push down harder to get the air out. It does a pretty good job and it's pretty close to a vacuum seal. Now when I sous vide chicken, I like to put it with herbs and that's what I'm doing right now and a little splash of olive oil.
open as it dries. I actually recommend these bags. I like them. They work pretty well for the size they are. I wish they made larger ones. On the Anova site, it says it's coming soon. I hope that they come out really soon. I want to be able to do larger items with these. When I'm cooking at high temperatures or long periods of time, I'm a little scared of the Ziploc bags failing. These, I don't think I'll have a problem. 